Welcome to the Big Brother Breakdown with Jolene. Welcome to the BB Breakdown with Jolene. That's me. Hey guys, welcome to the Big Brother Breakdown with Jolene. That's me. I break down all things Celebrity Big Brother Season 3. Happy Monday night. We had a big episode tonight with a double eviction. We have our final three in the house. If you want to find a full breakdown of that episode and recap, you can check out Nerdtainment. I went live with Sarah from Nerdtainment tonight and we broke it all down, but I'm going to do a couple little updates for you here. But first, make sure you hit that subscribe and hit the like. Appreciate you guys so much as we are winding down our celebrity Big Brother season three. We will soon be starting up BB Can 10 and then into Big Brother 24 this summer. So lots of Big Brother stuff ahead. So make sure you are subscribed so you get all of those updates. Okay, tonight's episode might not have went the way you wanted it to, or maybe it went the way you wanted it to. Uh, but I've seen a lot of people disappointed. We do have our final three in the game, and that is Cynthia, Todrick, and Misha. So Misha and Todrick were able to get to the end. Todd Bridges, he tried, but it just wasn't enough. He did win a POV, um, which sent Lamar home. And I got very emotional when Lamar left. Uh, Lamar has just I don't know. He captured my heart this season, and I didn't think I was going to have that kind of reaction to him leaving, but I appreciate him in his post interview with Julie. He talked about uh, Todd and him becoming good friends and that Todd is going to be his sobriety coach. And Todd has like 32, 33 years of sobriety and Lamar has seven. So go Todd and Lamar. I think it was super awesome and important that they talk about sobriety and talk about uh, addiction and things like that. And because it is still so stigmatized in society. So for that, I was very excited for the, both of them to be on the show and then to have each other together in the house. And I mean, who else would have farted their way through this house if not for them? Julie Chen also gave Lamar an opportunity to talk directly to Khloe Kardashian. Do we think Khloe Kardashian was watching? Probably. Come on, it's the Kardashians. They're definitely paying attention to what Lamar Odom is saying uh, on this show. And he said he misses her and he hopes to talk to her soon. So will this be a reconciliation for Chloe and Lammy? One never knows with the Kardashians. Did we think we would be here today in 2022 with Kim and Kanye? No, we didn't. No, no, we didn't. But still, we are here. Lamar, if you guys didn't know, is already killing it on Instagram. Now, I don't know if he is running his Instagram account. I'm pretty sure he has someone running it. But soon after Lamar Odom's eviction from the Celebrity Big Brother house, there was a post on his Instagram. And it said, you should have played chess, not checkers, Todrick. And then the caption read, so I was booted off of at Big Brother CBS by my fake friend, Todrick. <gasps> he should have been a bit more strategic as he must have forgotten I get a jury vote for the winner. <laughs> so go Lamar, AKA whoever is running Lamar's social media. I will be so interested to see uh, Lamar's feelings after the season. I mean, let's be honest. He wasn't afraid to let Todrick know uh, how he felt about him. And he wasn't afraid to be like, Todrick, your laugh is annoying. Misha, I really wanted to vote you out. Um, also, everyone here is annoying the shit out of me. I didn't say that, but you can tell from my eyes every time I roll my eyes. Okay. Todrick wanted to put on a, a play, an opera, whatever that was for the nominations to nominate me and talk. Hey, talk, talk. Uh, and I'm going to roll my eyes on that too. I am just so interested for this post celebrity big brother season, because I think it will be even more entertaining than this season of celebrity big brother was. Uh, so once Lammy left, that left us with Cynthia, Misha, Todrick and Todd Bridges. And they could not pull out a win in the HOH competition. Unfortunately, Todd started really strong on this guess which movie we're hinting at, which seems to be uh, a favorite BB competition for the producers. Uh, and I actually like 
this uh, this competition because we're able to see some pretty cool art and uh, some of the movie titles are kind of humorous. And Todd was killing it at first and then he got overzealous and he was like, oh, uh, I got it, I got it. Uh. And then he hit his buzzer a little too soon and didn't listen to enough clues. So soon Misha, MMA, MMA fighter, AKA Street Fighter came in and was like, I'll just wait a second. Cynthia got a couple right, which shocked her and everybody else watching tonight's episode. So Misha became the HOH yet again. Right after Todrick, there came in Misha. Then we had the all-powerful POV competition. And that would have been a chance for Cynthia or Todd Bridges to take themselves off the block after Misha nominated them. And unfortunately, mm, they weren't able to do it because the POV competition was a day's competition, which if you are not a fan of Big Brother and you don't really know how the game works, you probably didn't study the days. Okay. All Cynthia was thinking was Carson. Is the answer Carson? How come these are numbers? I just know Carson. Car that's where me and Carson hung out. That's where me and Carson talked about not knowing the game. That's where me and Carson decided to believe the lies about Shayna Mokler, even though she proved her loyalty to us. Please think about this. Please think about this logically. That's where me and Carson made a pie. Over there is where me and Carson talked about doing Wendy Williams together. Over there is where me and Carson slept and then slept some more. Over there is where I slept next to Carson while telling Big Brother, my contract says I don't have to wake up until 10 a.m. So shut it, Big Brother. Todd Bridges, he also didn't study the days. He was just like, I think I know math. And then he guessed. And unfortunately for them, Misha and Todrick were studying days in the house and they studied it quite often. Uh, and as recently as last night, they were up in the HOH room studying the days. So they killed it and it came down to the two of them. They were tied. And in the end, Misha won again. So Misha won an HOH and then a POV. And of course she wasn't gonna change her own nominations. And Todrick Hall was the sole vote to send not only Lamar home tonight, breaking the tie, but then the sole sole vote, I should say, to evict Todd Bridges. And you know that Todrick was just so happy to do so because after Todd Bridges did not do what Todrick wanted him to do when Todrick was HOH, he was like, listen, I know you won the POV, Todd Bridges, good for you, blah, 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 blah. Anywho, I'm going to need you to um, not use it. Just stay on the block. Just trust us. Totally trust us. I am so trustworthy. Oh, okay, you want to take yourself off the block? Okay, well then vote Lamar out. And when Todd said, no, I'm going to take myself off the block and no, I'm not going to vote my friend out. I'm going to vote Cynthia out. So then you have to break the tie. That is when Todrick decided we're done with him. You know, we just don't, we don't need him anymore. And so he voted Todd Bridges out. And to confuse us even more, despite saying on the live feeds throughout the season that Todd had said things that offended him and hinting at and sometimes just blatantly saying that he thought Lamar and Todd Bridges were homophobic, he went on to praise Todd Bridges as he voted him out. And then when Lammy left, he kiss Todrick on the cheeks, but I guess that is part of his homophobia. Huh? Oops. Todrick has continued to just shock us throughout this season with the accusations he makes and how low he is willing to go. Okay. Let's just say if this were a limbo contest, Todrick would break his back. He goes so low. Ooh. In Todd Bridges' exit interview with Julie Chen, he gave Julie something to think about forever. What you talking about, Julie? <laughs> he, what you talking about, Julie'd her, and she was like, ha, 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 ha. What you talking about, Julie? <laughs> that was an amazing laugh. Also on his way out, Cynthia Bailey gave her childhood crush, Todd Bridges, a kissy poo on the cheeky. Cynthia was pulling him in for lots of hugs and kisses when Todd Bridges was leaving. So right now, our final three is who we thought it would be if you've been watching the feeds. Uh, it's Todrick and Misha who wins everything and Cynthia who is like, what is this? And is this the Big Brother house? And how do you play? And what is a P of V? And what is this H of H? 
that Jerry O'Connell talks about that I should be winning. You know, it was really fun to see him win H of H. H of H, H of H, H of H. And sort of get his, uh, to hear he's in it. She hasn't been able to get a hold of an H of H or a P of V. So hopefully uh, maybe she can pull one out before she leaves. You know, I think she'll just have to walk into the competition and be like, and another thing. But most likely it will be a Misha or Todrick win and they will take each other to final two where Todrick will learn the hard way that he never stood a chance against anyone in the house because he didn't do any kind of jury management. Okay, girl, bye. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. And then we'll see what happens this post-celebrity Big Brother season. But I'm excited to see when Todd Bridges gets his phone back. Well, ask and you shall receive, everyone. Todd Bridges is officially on Twitter, at Todd Bridges, and he is tweeting up a storm. And it is exactly what we were hoping for. When someone tweeted to Todd Bridges, at Todd Bridges, I loved you on the show, Todd. You were the one I was rooting for tonight. I understand your reasoning when you said you'd vote for Todrick, but I encourage you to look at everything he done and said about all of you, to which Todd Bridges replied with a subtweet and said, not after what he said, no way, wow, so sad. So by the looks of Todd Bridges' Twitter, it did not take him long after being evicted from the Celebrity Big Brother house to find out who Todrick Hall really was in that house. Someone tweeted at Todd and said, Todrick is charming, so I get why y'all liked him. Watch him behind the scenes, though. Wow, a different person. I enjoyed you, Todd. Loved your taste bud superiority, especially. You should be a wine taster to which Todd Bridges is on a sub tweeting rampage. He is just having all the fun. And he said, I saw it with two zipper mouthed emojis. I don't know if that's how you say that, but that's what they were. <laughs> then 48 minutes ago at approximately a little before midnight on the Pacific coast, Todd tweeted, wow, I just saw what they said about me. Wow, wow. I'm not going to lower myself to say anything nasty about them. Todd is taking no time in uh, <laughs> looking into what actually happened in the house. Someone else tweeted to Todd, good job, Todd. You played a good game. Don't vote for Todrick before you are informed of all the things he's done, to which Todd Bridges subtweeted, no way. So it doesn't look like Todrick has Todd Bridges' vote in the end, which is completely Todrick's fault with a lack of jury management and just overall treating his castmates like garbage and speaking very grossly about them. A vote he could have had secured had he just been a kind or even somewhat kind human. So I'm sure there's lots more fun tweets from Todd Bridges to come. So stay tuned. I will keep up with those for more updates. <laughs> but Todd's got his phone back, you guys, and I am thoroughly entertained. Because when he was leaving, he was like, Todrick played the best game. He was just so great. Uh, what you talking about, Julie? Todrick's the best. I'm voting for Todrick. And Julie's like, not now. Not now, Todd. And he was like, mm, okay. Well, um, I don't normally poot in front of ladies, so I'm just going to step off in my vest and my slip-on shoes and go poot over there, and I'll be right back. Uh, Todd Bridges. So there is uh, your brief updates from the episode recap, reaction, a little bit of spoilers from outside of the house. Uh, currently in the house, Cynthia Bailey's wondering. So if I, is, is Carson coming back? Is he, does he come back ever? Is this, is he for, gone forever? Okay. All right. Um, can I win? I don't like the way this game is going. It is what it is when I leave. I'm leaving with my word and my integrity and with some class. If I go, I go. I'm good. And I still love you guys. She's fine. 
and she'll be fine. She said she's just happy making it to final three. But I will tell you, I will miss the live feeds being so lively now that we only have three people in the house. There's not going to be much to watch on the feeds. I will stay tuned in and let you know if anything comes up, but mostly I'm just going to miss top, 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 top. What's your blood pressure, Todd? Top, 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 top. Do you want to have a blood pressure? Top, top, top. I will miss Lamar just yelling for Todd. I will miss Todd checking his blood pressure and talking about his prostate and how they check your prostate. I'll miss that a lot. Um, so here we are, you guys. We are surviving Celebrity Big Brother. Don't forget to smash that like. Let me know what you think in the comments. Who did you vote for for America's Favorite Player? I think it's really down to Lamar or Sheena at this point. I see most of the votes headed that way from what people are saying online. Uh, either would be a very uh, worthy winner of America's Favorite Player, but let me know in the comments who you voted for um how you're feeling after tonight's episode here we are okay <laughs> we're still having fun right kind of maybe i'm crying i don't know please think about this please think about this logically please think about this logically thank you so much for watching have a wonderful rest of your evening i'll be back very soon with another video but until then enjoy yourself it's later than you think bye you like what you